When 31-year-old anchor Raul migrated from Nepal, he never imagined he'd be reunited and working with his childhood friend. <laughs> Although they moved to Australia separately, living in different cities, both Ankit and Ash Lama are now employed by the same Tasmanian company Aurora, half a world away in Hobart. Being away from family, like I haven't seen them for the last six years, you know, like um, having you know, like good friends around you um, always helps you, you know, like emotionally, mentally, you know, like they're always there for you. With a shared passion for sport, the pair met 18 years ago at a school in Nepal's capital, Kathmandu. We used to have a team in cricket and he said, you know, he would join, he would like to play with us. And once he played, and then he played fantastic, so that's how he caught my eye. Despite living through a civil war, both described their childhood as being pretty normal. Although we weren't involved in it, but you know, every day and night you hear those things conflict on news. According to the latest census, thousands of people have swapped the Himalayas for a life in Tasmania. Tasmania's Nepal-born community sits at just over 6,000 and Nepali is the third most spoken language at home after English and Mandarin. I absolutely love Tasmania. Um, lots of similarities between Nepal and Hobart uh, in terms of weather. Small place. More than 10 in a row, please. Both Ash and Ankit plan to call Tasmania home for at least the next few years, grabbing a game of table tennis whenever they can. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.